Adrian, how are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new palette that I haven't tried before that I just picked up. And ColourPop is back. Hi, ColourPop. We've missed you. So um, I went ahead and started my base with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I have mine in Fair, um, fair uh, Foreign, so Four Neutral. And then I did go ahead and add a little bit of the Milani uh, bronzer drops in one tin. So this is what I have on for my base. I did go ahead and add in some of the Pretty Fresh concealer in tin M. So that's all the base products that I have on today. Did go ahead and use the um, Flower Beauty. This is the Mesmerize or the sunrise um the sunrise bronzer and so that's what i have on as far as my bronzer today and i did have this on with the color pop uh thanks blush and it was this is pretty cool tone and it still worked out really too warm toned so i took off my base makeup and i went ahead and used wet and wild barrel of scares this is actually from their uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And so I went back and put this blush on. And this blush goes a deep plum. And I think it worked off or worked in a lot better with this look because this look goes so cool tone that it just worked a lot better with both the blush and the lip being cool tone. So I have Barrel of Scares uh, from Wet n Wild. It's one of their lip and cheeks. I have it on the cheeks and the lips. And then as far as what else I did for the lips, um, I did go ahead and add in some of the uh, Butter Gloss by NYX. This is one of their Sandworms from the Beetlejuice collection and also the Metaglow by Essence. So, yeah, I think I went as cool toned as I can on the lips and probably as dark as I can. And then I use the Essence Make Me Brow and Dark Brown. Uh, the Essence, and this is the Volume Stylist as far as the mascara. Mixes with the Panorama Mascara from uh, L'Oreal. And so that's what I have on there. Did I use a little bit of the M-Ride eyeliner on the bottom of the eyeliner look? And so that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and pick up the ColourPop. And this is the Haunted Mansion uh, Welcome Foolish Mortals palette. And like I said, this did come out last year. I didn't pick it up last year. So uh, this is what the palette looks like. Really pretty. And uh, this first impression, I haven't worked with this before. I did go ahead and use uh, this shimmer, and I used it from here to here, and then from here to here. This one is actually a glitter, and I put it from here to here. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Um, I went ahead and used this shadow on the outer corner, uh, this shadow on the lid, and then this is a really pretty holographic glitter. So holographic glitter means that it has all sorts of different glitter colors in it. And I put that actually in the crease uh, going up to the brow. And in some cases right up here it's going all the way up to the brow. Um, but it really did kind of take over this look and I think it really turned out pretty. And then I have uh, both of these turquoises on the lid itself. So um, yeah, just turned out to be a really fun, really cool tone look. And then right on the inner corner, I got out the, um, yeah, this is one of the Super Shocks. And this is called Tin. It was one that they were giving out as a um, gift with purchase if you bought the uh, palette they came out with for their 10 year anniversary then they were giving this out as a gift with purchase and I went ahead and put it right on the very very inner corner and then I took it down a little bit yeah just a little bit on uh, both of the um, yeah on the eyeliner area 
is what I'm trying to say. So this is the way that the look came out. And the holographic glitter is just showing up as purple and gold and silver and orange and all sorts of pretty colors. So yeah, this look has kind of turned out really, really cool tones, really different. And so it's really pretty. I'm really liking it. And like I said, this first time I've worked with this palette, it's over at Target in store if you want to go ahead and pick it up. And you can order it from Target or from Colourpop's, either of those websites as well. I think it came off as a really good cool tone look. I didn't expect it to go this cool tone, but um, yeah, um, I think it turned out really fun and definitely is fun fun Halloween so yeah with this kind of a look I would definitely go ahead and wear it to a Halloween party or to you know Halloween day at work or whatever um, so it turned out to be a really fun look and I think that's probably the video for today so I'll see you later and have a good day bye